Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ria and in today's video I'm going to be going from this to well what you can see right here. So it's kind of like a zero to 100 makeup transformation. You guys are getting ready with me to go out for drinks with the gals tonight. So I thought I'd be doing this really nice, fun and sultry, smoky eye with this really nice, I'm just like living for this lip combo. So guys, if you really like watching this video, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. That really supports my channel and kind of gives me feedback to show me whether you like these videos or not. And don't forget to comment down below what videos you'd like to see from me next. And without further ado and further blabbing, let us hop right into this video. You guys know we love to start off full glam transformations with the eyes. I'm going to start off with my Colourpop No Filled Concealer in Light 18. I was going to use the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette, but honestly, this is the third time filming and me having to redo the entire eye look. I don't know what's up with that palette. It was honestly like one of my favorite palettes, but I feel like we're just not on the same like playing field today and it's just out to get me and like every single makeup look that I'm doing is coming out wrong. So I'm going to do a makeup look that is not easy, but what I would deem really nice and quick and I know would turn out good. So I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. So I'm gonna go in with Rustic. Just this really nice, it's like a neutral, not really warm toned, kind of brown and just put that color all over the crease. And I'm gonna slowly take this color ever so lightly, pack this on and kind of buff it upwards. Next up I'm going to go straight in and put in the star colour which is sultry. I've been dying to use this beautiful kind of bronze kind of coppery shade. I don't know whether I want to do that or try something different. I'm just going to take my middle finger and just put that all over the lid. Next up, I'm going to take a little bit of Cypress Umber, which is this really dark, almost black brown. And just, so I'm going to bring that Cypress Umber almost all over the lid. And just leaving that bronze shade, like right in that inner kind of corner area here. But I want the star focus to be Cypress Umber. I'm just really feeling this like brown smoky eye today. I really like how you can still see a little bit of the sultry shades peek through so it's not fully kind of dark. I'm gonna go back in with Rustic very lightly and just blend that upwards. Now let me just zoom you guys not in but out. And we're just going to clean up any fallout from the eyeshadow. For the face, I am taking uh, this really weird product. It's the Pixi Skin Treats Rose Flash Balm. So I'm just taking the slightest bit, literally like not even a pea sized, and just rubbing that, it smells super nice, into my skin. So if you put in a thin layer of this product, it's apparently meant to be like a primer. But if you put in like a thicker layer and leave it on for a while, it's meant to be a face mask. I'm not really sure how that works, but we'll see. But it feels smooth on the nose, so that's a good thing. And it seems pretty glowy, so we'll see how it goes, especially when we apply our foundation right now. So I'm just going to go in with my Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily. And I'm taking that as well as, see after yesterday's video, I've just been really obsessed with mixing this in with my Cover FX 
um, custom cover drops in sunlight if I can find it and creating like a really dewy foundation so this year kind of my goals I haven't written them down but I definitely want to know if you guys I don't know want me to make a video on my goals and use resolutions so we can kind of like track them together I guess I definitely am so excited to film more for YouTube because I don't know I just I feel like the platform here is something I've always wanted to grow on but never could and I'm just like determined this year to see my channel grow I've also been loving watching Miss Remy Ashton I talked about them in my previous video but Miss Remy Ashton and Alicia Marie I don't know I just I tried watching kind of all the others in their friend group and don't get me wrong I love them as well um, but I don't know they just seem so positive and not only like positive in life um, and very honest but also body positive and like how to look after your body and look after yourself which I find is very very important and really rare on this platform I'm mixing in my two Colourpop no filter concealers. Last year I was very limited to what makeup kind of products I kind of bought and kind of limited myself on a budget. But then when it comes to actually creating makeup looks and going out with them, I realized, hey girl, you don't have that. In essence, I don't really... I have all the crazy kind of combinations but I really don't have the basics like soft glam is like the only kind of basic makeup palette I have in terms of neutrals and I really want to explore neutrals I want to explore more foundations skincare all that stuff I always kind of kind of shy away from it because my skin is super super sensitive so yeah like any foundation I put on like I tried the Maybelline kind of instant rewind age instant age rewind concealer and oh my god the second I put it on my skin it felt like acid was kind of burning my skin off it like burned like crazy and this whole area became like super red and like horrible looking so my skin is super super sensitive and essentially what I'm trying to say is I shouldn't let these kind of experiences with products make me shy away from like trying any other product because at the end of the day I might find like the most amazing holy grail foundation but because I've been too scared to test anything else out I kind of never would never have the opportunity to find it wow that's like the most twisted way of saying it but I hope you guys understand what I mean and I'm doing this trick and I really like doing this trick when I do have a smoky eye I don't like going fully kind of above like cover my under eye circles fully because then it gives it kind of natural kind of gradient without having to like focus too much on blending if you know what I mean little hack and now i'm going to try out the cover effect perfect setting powder in translucent i've heard a lot of good things about this but i haven't like had the balls to try it because i've been so like hooked on my cody s fun see guys i'm a creature of habit once i like a product i tend to stick to it quite a lot so I'm just taking a, a fluffy kind of setting brush and not kind of fully baked today. Scratch that. I decided to bake instead, like half bake, like leave it on for literally two seconds. So I'm going to use the Pixie and Wiley collaboration, the dual ended kind of eyeliner and just put it on my lower lash line. I'm going to apply my mascara and lashes off camera and I'll be right back to finish off the face. So while my lashes are drying on my eyes, I'm going to be taking my Bahama Mama bronzer, which is well loved and I really need to restock on, on a 
brush that I don't know the name of and just really bronze up my skin. And then for my favorite part, I'm going to be taking my Ofra Feeling Myself highlighter palette and I'm going to be taking Rodeo Drive. Can you tell this is well loved? Very well loved. And I'm going to take a little fluffy brush. This is an eyeshadow kind of blending brush, but since this is quite large, I mean, I don't know why this doesn't do it justice. Let me go with this side. Ready? Are you guys ready? I always say, are you guys ready? Because, I mean, Ofra really does no wrong. They, they always kill it with their highlighters. So now I'm going to finish off the lips with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Ashton. I'm just going to remove the ratchet way. Can't believe I showed you guys my lip balm. Now I'm going to take NYX's Lip Lingerie Gloss in Sable, which is a lot lighter. That's kind of like what I'm going for. This combo is actually everything. So guys, this is my 0 to 100 makeup transformation. Get ready with me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Sorry, it's a little bit all over the place and the sound is quite iffy, but I'm trying to work on it eventually. I'm just trying to get a mic, trying to find and do my research properly before investing in any more equipment. Leave your comments down below of your New Year's resolutions or what videos you'd love to see from me next. I'd love to talk with you guys in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. I love you guys so, so much with all my heart and I'll catch you, my beautiful best friends, in the next video. Bye!